Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Google's uh, population dynamics for this model to predict a US housing price at the zip code level. So before we get into that, I want to show you the results. So this is uh, basically the scatter plot showing you the actual home value and also the predicted uh, home values uh, at the zip code level uh, using different models. For example, you can use linear regression, you can use a uh, nearest neighbor. Uh, you can also use some other deep learning models and it's uh, very easy uh, to do. I'm going to show you step by step uh, how to get started. So the first you can go to the GitHub uh, repository uh, under uh, Open Geospatial Solutions, Geo AI Tutorials. So the link is also in the description uh, below. And so inside here you can find um, the PDFM uh, notebooks. So I created more examples in the future. Uh, this is the first one. I want to share with you. So in the future, I'm also going to uh, put some other uh, deep learning models and uh, packages uh, tutorial uh, here. So make sure that you follow the uh, the uh, updates uh, of this uh, GitHub repository. And so for those of you who are not familiar with the population uh, dynamics foundation models or PDFM, uh, it's a new foundation model released by Google about two weeks ago. And you can read more information about the model uh, from the GitHub uh, repository. And also, uh, they also have a paper. Uh, essentially, what they did is uh, they utilizing some Google uh, source data, map data, and also some uh, environmental data to create this kind of so-called embedding. And uh, we can use that. So basically, it learns the relationship between US counties and also uh, zip codes, uh, the spatial and also temporal relationship and um, basically it generalized, so it extract the information, the relationship, and then we can use that one to make predictions uh, based on uh, some data about related to human uh, dynamics. And um, you need to, uh, first you need to request access to embedding. So getting access to the embedding, you can um, click this link and then open the, on um, the Google form, then you can fill out the information. Uh, I'm not going to share the uh, the data here uh, in this tutorial. You do need to access this one, request this one uh, by yourself, so, uh, so they you, they can know the use cases, uh, how people are using that. And but it's free. So once you get access to the embedding, I'm going to show you. You can follow this tutorial. So here, I'm going to show you how to use that. Um, also, by the way, they have different um, tutorials in here. You're welcome to actually follow them. They have, right now they have four tutorials, so they can use. Uh, do the forecasting, super resolution, also doing the time series FM. And so the one that I'm gonna show you today is actually uh, adapted from this tutorial. So we're gonna show you how to download the data and then how to uh, make the prediction uh, using the zero data. So let me go back to my uh, tutorial here and you can go to the uh, homepage on um, the website and PDFM, zero home values. So you can, uh, run this notebook on Google Collab, or you can download this one to your computer. Uh, either way is fine. So you can right click, open this one in Google Collab. Then you can just uh, uncomment this line and in, uh, install the package. Then you can follow through. You do need to have the uh, embedding downloaded. I'm going to, again, uh, click here to access the embedding. And I'm going to show you what the embedding looks like. It's actually just a uh, huge PDF. Um, um, a CSV file. So I'm going to show you here PDFM data. So it looks like this. Uh, the, the data is 110 megabyte and also the U, uh, the zero data. So let me open this one just to show you uh, briefly. Uh, you won't be able to, there's a lot of features. So this one has like, uh, I think 329 features. So it's just a huge CSV file with all the basic embedding, basically the relationship between uh, zip code, uh, the, 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 the zip relationship between low zip codes. So you can see the places, county, population, latitude, longitude, and then the feature. So these are all the features that have been learned from their data. So it's, um, it, it, you don't know like what it actually represents, but this is basically just kind of just like a black box and it has all the relationships. So what we need to do is to build a model based on these 329 uh, features. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me open the, my VS Code here and you can again install this one and then you can start importing the libraries. Uh, by the way, so the zero data, you can click the link here. You can open the website. You can go to a zero website to download the data. So uh, here, uh, the one that I use is the zip code label. So I download this one, zero home value index. 
and the geography is this zip code so you click this one and then you just click this one to download so it has all the data monthly data for the predicted um, basically the housing price at the zip code level for the entire us and you just click the link it should be able to ask you to download this one to your computer and to make things easier i already put that one on my github so you can just follow this link here it will also automatically download the same data so if you want this code block uh, it will uh, pointing to the data that right now under my directory here so again it's a huge csv file i can also open that one just to uh, let you take a look what's inside and so keep that in mind the, the data the basically the structure is uh, different from the um the, the the pdfm embedding so you can see here let me scroll to the left side the embedding basically this one will be just like an index the zip code and also uh, the five digit zip code but in the um zero data you will see it's actually using the so-called region id uh the the uh, sorry the reason name actually this one reason name so we need to actually process the data to make them consistent but on the right you can scroll to the right to see the monthly housing price at the end of each month so the latest one we have is october 31st 2024 and so we're going to basically utilize the data at the zip code level and we're going to build a model to predict the housing price at each zip code level so first uh, import all the libraries and then download the uh, housing data from zero and then we can uh, read the data using uh, pandas so the data type uh, we need to turn this one into a stream otherwise by default you're going to read the data and then convert this one to a number and then that's going to have troubles so what we need to do is to actually make this column reason name this column is string so because this is actually five digits uh, so uh, i'm going to uh, fill them with zero at the beginning and once we have that uh, we're going to actually create a new column zip um, slash then um, the number so take a look so let me run this one um and take a look so right now we have this column here reason name and also basically the index is the same as the um google pdfm model embeddings okay so the first column the index is the same as the um pdfm encoding and after that you need to request access to this one so after you download uh, the embedding from Google. Uh, once you get the email, uh, receive access to that. You can put the file under the same directory or whatever you want, and then just pointing to the big CSV file. Again, it's under my local computer here. It's this uh, zip code embedding. After that, um, you can load the embedding data uh, using uh, pandas. So look at this one. So right now we have the zip code, the place, and these two index right now are the same, although the name is different. But you can see the zip code. Um, the same and once we have these two data frames we can join the data together and then basically find a common zip codes that uh, we have the data for the zero and also data from pdfm then we can look at this one so now we have the new index here and nice thing about this we have joined the um both the the housing data here for example this one is the housing data and also the 329 uh, features from the PDFM and this is a huge data frame again combining both of them uh, together and once you have this we need to actually um, do some post processing so first we want to drop all the data that uh, we download basically the the label so the label we're going to predict is the using the October 31st so we're going to actually predict the housing price at the end of uh, October basically for October 2024 so we're going to use this one as the label so again, let me show you one more time here it will be the uh, zip code, the housing uh, zero data and this last column here. So we're going to use this one to do the prediction and they might have some no data here. So first is to uh, drop all the no data and also the embedding features. So the embedding feature would be feature one, two, three, all the way to 329. So this will be uh, the feature we're going to use to build the model and this will be the label. So once you set this one, we drop all the data. So this will be the final data set that we have containing um, the, the housing price for October and also all the 329 features. After that, we can split the data so we can extract a subset. Uh, so this will be the combination of basically 
the uh, the features and also the label. So we extract the subset, all the columns that we need, and then so the X would be the training, uh, the, the, the sample data, and then the Y would be the label. So after that, we can use the uh, scikit-learn chain text split to split the data. So we're going to use 80% for the training and 20% for testing. So once you have this, now you can actually, if you want, you can print this one, X chain, for example, oops, X chain dot hey. So you can see what it looks like. All right, so now we have this zip code and then feature zero all the way to 329. And then uh, we also have the, uh, the oh, this is just the training data. So you also need to have, for example, the Y train. So the Y train will be just the label, uh, Y train dot hey. So this one will be just the October uh, 31st, the housing price data. So once the data are ready, now we can actually build a model. So we're going to use the scikit-learn linear regression model. And so just create this uh, model object, then use the fit uh, function, passing the chain data um, and also the Y chain data. And after that, we can make the prediction based on the testing data. So this would be 80% uh, of the data for training, 20% for testing. It's going to create a new column, new data frame uh, we uh, uh, a new new order uh, prediction. So let's run this one, and you can now print this one up. Why predict? Basically, these are all the uh, the numbers, and at the end we can create a new data frame. So this will be the testing. This will be the actual data. This one will be the uh, the predicted data, and then we can use the leaf map uh, evaluate model uh, to actually calculate uh, the metric. So you can see here the R square is uh, 0 0.7, 7, uh, 0 0.78 so it's uh, pretty pretty decent it's the uh, close to the one is better uh, if this it's basically the r square between zero and one so if this uh, the larger the better and you can also see the uh, relationship the r between the actual and also the predicted price with this uh, is nice would be uh, one nice thing to do is to actually plot them plot a, a, a scatter plot with the actual uh, home, uh, home, home values and also the predicted one. So again, we're going to use the leaf map plot actual and uh, uh, predicted values. So this function actually is adopted from the PTFM uh, tutorial. And we set the limit to just 3 million because there are some outliers. And this is what it looks like uh, using the plot uh, library to map the housing price. So you can see here, it's actually pretty good. So this will be the one-to-one uh, -one relationship. If this close to the red line, that means it's better. So you can clearly see that all the points are actually um, are concentrated uh, at the lower left corner here around this uh, di diagonal line. And uh, uh, there's certainly some value here. This this would be under uh, estimated, under under prediction. That means the actual home price, for example, is almost, for this case, is the 2.1 million, but the predicted one is only 661k. So there are certainly some outliers, uh, outliers, but most of those are actually pretty close. Um, it's pretty good. And I don't need to actually um, build the model myself. It's just using the um, PDFM embeddings where all the features have been learned. And then we just use a simple linear regression to build the model. Similarly, you can use other um, machine learning models. For example, the uh, k-nearest neighbors um, model. And you can specify how many neighbors do you want and the um, process is pretty much similar to the linear regression. So you fit the model and then you do the prediction uh, based on the 20% training data. And after that, you can uh, simulate evaluate uh, the matrix. So this one is a little bit higher and it's 79%. And also you can plot uh, the outcome. So very much similar. So it's pretty good uh, compared that. If you, you can also view the known data. So if you have some, for example, uh, some of the zip code, that you don't have the predicted home values, you can actually just use this one to do the prediction and it should be pretty close. So this is uh, how you can use the PTFM to do housing uh, values prediction uh, using the zero data and also the PTFM. And it's pretty flexible. So I can show you here um, earlier, uh, if you look at the, the housing price, right? So uh, we have that for pretty much every month. So here, uh, is for um, 
October 30, uh, 31st. So basically for October, but you can use it to, you can predict for any, any month. For example, uh, September, October, uh, 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 August, whatever month you like. So all you need to do is just change the, the date. So I'm going to go back to here. And if you want to predict something else, I can show you with the label. So all you need is just change the label. So if you go back down here, where is it? So this one. So for example, I can change it to September 09. 30 that means right now we are predicting uh, the housing price for uh, September 2024 and so we need to just rewind it again everything else remain the same so you can actually essentially do that for every um, every month and take a look so this is again pretty close 7.78 and this one is uh, should be point wait, where is the yeah, for same, same, but most of those are close to 80%. So for some of the months, you might get over 80%, but it's pretty close. So we don't, it's really like require minimal efforts and then you can make a prediction based on this one. So if you have some no data, missing data, you can use this one, or you can also, I mean, uh, predict um, into the future. I will maybe create another tutorial showing you how to do that. But if you have any, data that's at the zip code or county level and ye, it's related to some human dynamic for example it can be transportation it can be crime rate it can be many many things uh, you can also nighttime light data um, or it can be urban area those things can be predicted using this embedding because it's already learned the relationship for those zip uh, data at the zip code and also county levels from the massive uh, google uh, source data so you can use that to learn the relationship. Uh, it's very cool. So uh, again, you are encouraged to uh, read the, the paper uh, here and uh, look. you can look into more detail what kind of things you can do. There are also some like um, uh, benchmark here and also different data inside. So you're welcome to follow this uh, GitHub repository. Okay, and if you want to learn more about GeoAI, uh, make sure that you are sub uh, bookmark this uh, repository i'm going to post more tutorials uh, in the future okay so that's all for this tutorial i will see you in the next one take care bye bye